To get started, we'll want to open up our web browser and install Google Chrome. To install Google Chrome, you can type in google.com, type Chrome, and select the first link. Now you can press the download Chrome button, accept and install. Once it's finished downloading, you can click the button. Next, you'll want to drag the icon into the Applications folder. Double click the icon to open it up. So I'm already in Google Chrome. So now we'll want to install our text editor. We're going to be using an editor called Atom. This was developed by the team at GitHub, and it works really well. So you go to atom.io, select Download for Mac. Once it's finished, you can click on the button. You should see the icon in your downloads. Double click this to open up Atom. Select open. And now you can see our text editor application. So I already had it installed, so it opened up the most recent document I had, which was the course for Hacker News. So if you want to add some additional add-ons, you can go to preferences. and you can look at packages. I recommend installing the Emmet package. This is pretty cool. You can use some shortcuts and in the course videos I'll be using some of the shortcuts um, added through the Emmet. So you would just type in Emmet and then select install the package. Alright, next we'll want to find our terminal. So if you've never used the terminal before on the Mac you can press command space and type terminal. This is what we'll use to build a Rails app along with our text editor. To customize this you can click on terminal, preferences, and you can choose from all these different themes. I think I chose the grass theme here. Once you choose the theme that you like you can select the fault in the bottom right of the sidebar. Finally to install Rails, there's a great website called install rails.com and this website walks you through all the steps for installing it whether you're on a Mac OS, uh, Windows, or Linux. So for Mac you just select the first button and follow all the steps in this tutorial. If you get stuck at any point you can do a quick search on Google or feel free to leave a comment under this video and I'll help you out. Thanks for checking us out and if you enjoy this please subscribe.